everybody. How are you? This is Leslie from Leslie's Creative Studio, and I am here for Gina B. Aaron's design team. And what I'm doing is I'm catching up on some videos. I just realized, or actually I realized um, a few weeks ago that I had forgotten to get done. Um, I had forgotten to do my design team video for the month of February, and it was beads and charms and... Um, buttons, <laughs> which are some of my favorite things. Um, I feel like I should start singing a song. Anyway, let's get straight to it. Uh, I have a really great um, little uh, piece of artwork that I'm going to make, and I am making this for my granddaughter's backpack. You know how kids love those dangly things on their backpacks now? Yeah, easy to do, fun to do. I took some of Gina's um, digi, digi downloads. As you can see, these are really kind of cool. They have all kinds of fun stuff to look at. Now, what I've done, I have a inkjet printer. I do not have a laser printer. So I know this will run. It's not color fast. So I do have Spectrafix. So after I printed these out, I sprayed this on it and let them let them dry. Okay. And the one that I used that I cut up into one inch strips. Um, I wish I had the original. I don't. Anyway, it it was blue. It looked like this. I've already cut them up, sorry. But anyway, I've cut them into one inch strips and then I've cut them diagonally from here to here. Thus, they look like this. So it would have been, you know, here like that. And then this way. So anyway, here's one of them. And I've, like I said, I've gone ahead and cut my strips. And I've edged the edge of the strip with um, teal damask. And this is a Prima chalk marker. Or chalk, whatever you want to call it. Chalk thing. <laughs> And then I also have a one inch piece of just copy paper from my printer, printer paper. And I've also inked the edges on this as well with the same thing. Um, I'm going to try and make it thicker without using um, all of the paper. I can get more out of it by doing this. Does that make sense? I get more pieces of this when I use the, the print, this printer paper. Anyway, I have this tool that I'm going to roll my bead that we're going to make um, on this. This was gifted to me by um, Peg Robinson from Bits and Pieces. And it's a dowel with a really large bobby pin in there. Um, I did order a bead rolling set, but I can't find it. <laughs> My, my craft room is in utter disarray. I can't find it. So I have my glue. It's um, art glitter glue. And this stuff is really cool. It, it really, it dries clear, but it also adheres really quick. Now, here's one of the things I want to use. We're going to use this. This is a straw. Yes, this is a regular drinking straw. Um, this is a good way to upcycle. Um, I'm not saying taking a dirty straw. I'm just saying it's, it's a good way. If you're going to use things, you know, um, and keep them safe from the environment, this is just, you know, this is one of the things that I do anyway. So let's get to going on this. <laughs> I'm losing my mind today. I really am. So I'm just going to take my glue. And I'm just going to lightly do the edge here. And then what I'm going to do is bring you in a little bit farther so that you can see. Voila. Okay, you see there's these little red lines here. And I put just a little bit of glue. I don't know if you can see it. Because it's white on white paper. I'm just going to line this up. On this red line so that I know that it's straight and that's actually why I like to use 
the straws that have the lines on them because I can line them up. And I also want it on the edge of the straw. Like that. It's on there and it's nice and straight. And this glue is already got that fastened on there really good. I mean, I wouldn't tug on it too, too hard. I'm going to bring it back out because that's way close. Too close, too close. You sound like some of my students. Too close. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to wrap this. Um, I'm going to try and keep it kind of tight. And I want to make sure that my edges stay even. So. Now, I will tell you, I think this is a great idea if you cannot, um, if you don't have access to a um, something like this or someone who can make you something like this, um, you can roll, just, you know, just roll it on the straw without this. This is just kind of helping me keep things in place. Oh, and the one thing I wanted to do, here's my scissors. I don't know why I do this, I just do. Sometimes there's no rhyme or reason to what I do. I try and explain that to my husband, he doesn't get it. <laughs> Never question your wife, just accept it. Okay. So I'm trying to roll this and keep this as straight as possible. And now I'm just going to glue at the end here. Okay, so what that does, as you can see, it gives my bead a little bit more body, okay? So I don't have to use as much of this, okay? So I don't waste this. I can use this on more beads. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a little bit of glue here. And I'm going to line this up here. Scrunch it just a little bit. I'm just going to let it. Let it tack on there. Okay, now the the thing with rolling beads when you get to the cup when with this part here, you're gonna want to make sure that you're keeping this as centered as you can. Now you notice I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up a little bit. This is centered really well, but that's right. I'm going to fix that. So now this isn't going the way. You know, it when it comes to camera time, you know, we're just going to make all kinds of mistakes. Because, hmm. you know, the camera's rolling. So why should we do it the right way? Why shouldn't we be? helpful here we go okay so as you can see i'm trying to keep this centered as best i can let's see if you pull it too tight and let go boom it unravels but the one thing i love is that it's picking up all the different colors from gina's gina's piece as well as the colors that i put on the edges See, I kind of have that one edge that just is fighting me. Stop fighting me. I love homemade beads. To me, nothing is cooler than a homemade bead. 
and they're great in your projects, whether you're going to use it as a, um, as a dangle for a journal, or like I said, this is going to be for my granddaughter to put on her backpack. And you know what I do for one, I have to do for the other. So, you know, I'm going to be doing another one of these because I'll do this for one grand, for one granddaughter and the other granddaughter will say, but grandma, me too, please. Me too. And of course, grandma will say, okay. 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 So I'm going to take this off. That's pretty good. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off just as such, just like that. Now, the purpose of using the straw is because it gives the bead a solid base. It's it's not um, it's a little bit sturdier than if I didn't use something. Um, and I'll be really honest with you. I did purchase some of these paper straws that are eco-friendly to use. And I have not tried them yet, but I will say this. This for 50 straws was $4. Okay. So my husband... <laughs> came home and says, hey, babe, were you looking for some straws? And I said, yeah. He goes, hey, I bought you some. This is 75 cents. You know how many beads I can make out of that? That's a lot of dangles for a journal. That's a lot of dangles for, um, you know, for book bags. All right, so we have this done. All right, so... Just to kind of check the edges here, I'm just going to kind of go over this a little bit, make sure I've got it real good. Make sure those edges are nice and tealy colored. Okay. Now, there's something else we're going to do to this, and I need to get set up. So, I'll be right back. Hi, I'm back. Did you miss me? <laughs> okay, I'm going to take some resin. And this is UV resin. And look, I have these beautiful blue gloves on. And I just want a smidge. I don't need a lot, just a smidge. Where's my lid? Okay. Now, I have taken my bead. I'll put it back on this stick again here. I just kind of wiggled it on there to the thicker part so it doesn't move. And yes, I'm going to take my finger. Stuff is gooey sticky. I'm just going to put it on here on my bead. And it kind of reminds me of doing resin on a tumbler. Kind of the same concept. Only this is UV resin, so it will dry much quicker. Because we're going to put it under my UV light. Alright, so I'm just going to rub my finger all over this to make sure that it's all nice and covered. Looks pretty covered to me. Make sure it's not dripping anywhere. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. Now, keeping that finger off of everything. I got my UV light here, and I'm just going to stick this in here like this, okay? And I'm going to turn it on like that. I'll be back when it's done, just a few minutes. Okay, this is done. Take this off. Look at that. See how shiny that is? And they're hard. Can you hear them? Put them up by the microphone. Tap, tap, tap. They're hard. All right. So I also got the other ones done before. This can get put away. So I have four beads. And I have some wire. 
I have some charms. I have some other plastic beads. Um, and I've got this. So this was from some jewelry, costume jewelry that I took apart. Um, probably something I found in a garage sale. So this is from my stash. And whenever I can find charms on sale, um, I always pick some up. So I've got some charms. This I got at Goodwill, 99 cents. Can't beat that. So to spare you the agony of watching me string these up, I'm going to string them up off camera because I'm not really good at stringing beads. But um, I'm going to do the best I can. And I'm going to get these all strung. And I'll come back and show you the finished product. But real quickly, before I go do that, I wanted to show you one of the other reasons I wanted to use the plastic is because look at how easy that goes through. Ding. This is 24 gauge bead wire. Bead beading wire. 24 gauge. How easy that goes through. Um, sometimes with the paper beads, when you don't put a core in there like that, it when you go to put the wire through, it'll catch. So there's that. So I'm going to string these up and I'm going to use jump, um, jump rings to attach my, all my charms and stuff. So let me get that started and I will be back with the finished product and you're going to love it. And Chloe better like it too. Or grandma's just going to have to put it on her purse. <laughs> I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, I have strung these on here, but I have not finished off the top. But I just wanted to show you before I put all of this fluffy stuff on here, because the kids love the fluffy stuff. They love it on their, on their dangles for the book bags. The fluffier stuff, the more fluffy the stuff, the better. But I just wanted to show you real quick how pretty these look. And this is from... Gina's Digi Downloads. This is from one of her papers. And there's beautiful blues and, and purples. And then the teal that I added on the end with the chalk just made it so pretty. And then I just grabbed these out of my stash just to make it a little bit longer. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and put this on here and some doodahs on the end down here. And I'll come back. I just wanted you to see how pretty this was before I put this on because that's what all the kids want. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm going to put on my last little bit of trim here for Miss Chloe's dangle for her backpack. I'm just going to tie a knot. This stuff is fuzzy. There we go. All right, so there's her dangle for her backpack, handmade by Grandma, with handmade beats by Grandma using Gina B. Aaron's Digi downloads. I love her Digis. There is so much you can do with them. Look at these beads. They're gorgeous. And I've made this into a beautiful dangle. I added a claw clasp right here. It's called a lobster claw. And then down here on the dangles, <laughs> you can see the charms I added on the end. I added a little seahorse and a little fishy and a I love you and then a little heart. Because I believe her new backpack is a mermaid backpack, if I'm not mistaken. And I will try and get a picture of Chloe with her new backpack and her new dangle for her backpack on here. So there that is. Did that just turn out adorable? Just adorable. Adorbs. Absolutely adorable. So quick and easy and fun. Just took, you know, one evening. 
not really that long. So there it is. Well, I hope you enjoyed my process. I hope that it inspires you to do something creative. Um, I love to make things for people in my family, especially for my granddaughters, because they really, really appreciate it. And actually, they really enjoy creating with me, um, which makes this grandma very happy, especially when my granddaughter is asked at school what she wants to be when she grows up. And she says, I want to be an artist. <laughs> it makes this grandma very, very happy. So anyway, um, oops, here's my project. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it made you inspired to do something creative. So on that note, I'm going to end this here. It's so cool. All right. I'm ending it here. I promise. All right, everybody. Have a really great night. And as always, be nice. It's really not that difficult. Bye-bye.